you're not gonna be 100% ready or feel 100% ready for your first programming job. But on the bright side, you're not really gonna be expected to be 100% ready. There are hundreds and hundreds of coding languages out there and dozens and dozens of coding stacks. You got your mean, you got your mern, you got your lamp, and a bunch of other furniture-inspired coding stacks. One of the most common questions I get asked is, how do I know when I'm ready for my first software engineering job? A question that I'm very excited to answer, but first I want to take a little bit and talk about today's sponsor, DataCamp. Data is the most valuable resource in the world. Understanding and becoming data fluent is the first step to unlocking new and exciting career opportunities. DataCamp is an online learning platform that makes acquiring data skills easy and convenient. But if you're not exactly sure where to start, DataCamp makes it easy. Take one of their free assessments and get personalized learning recommendations. They have courses for newbies, professionals, and everything in between. I think Python is a great place to start when thinking about dipping your toes into the world of data or software engineering. That's why I recommend the Python programmer track to gain career building programming skills you need to develop sleek software and manipulate data. If you want to check out the first chapter of any of Data Camp's courses for free, check out my link in the description below. If you're applying for an entry level job, these companies know for a fact that you're not going to know everything off the jump. Like for a good hunk of time, software engineering was just like any other career. If you want to do the job professionally, go to college, get your degree, and then come back and they'll give you a job somewhere. But even then, after you've been to college for four years and you got your CS degree, you don't know everything. More than likely, a brand new shiny framework has come out in the last two years of your college degree program and your dream company picked it up and now you can't be expected to be a professional at that new language or framework or library. And that dream company that just switched to that new framework knows for a fact that you're not going to be a professional at that new language or that new framework. So why and how are these CS new grads consistently getting these entry-level software for engineering roles. Listen to me now, open your ears because I'm about to preach. It's because they have proof. These computer science diplomas act as proof. Proof that they understand programming. Proof that they have the aptitude to learn software engineering, computer science principles and fundamentals over the last four years. And proof that they will be able to pick up new languages, frameworks, and libraries as they arise. That diploma proves that hiring those graduates is worth it. It's a safe bet and they're deserving more than likely of those six figure salaries. Hi, hello, my name is Jeremiah and I, I didn't go to college. I know I was hyping up that four year degree plan and valuing that diploma, but that's not the only path. But if you don't go to college, you got, a, you got a lot more to prove. At the end of the day, these companies that we're trying to apply for are taking time, energy, and a lot of money away from their companies to even see if we're going to be good engineers if we get hired. Computer science degree folks have that nice piece of paper that lets everyone know, hey, I can program to a certain extent, but if you're not in a four-year institution and you don't have that pretty piece of paper, we need to show the world that we can code. We need to show them publicly. You don't necessarily need to build your portfolio from scratch, especially if you're a back-end person, but you do need to have a portfolio that shows some great projects that you're capable of creating. But if you do want to build your own portfolio site from scratch, check out html5up.net for some great template ideas included with template source code. More importantly, like I said before, than just having a nice pretty portfolio is having some pretty solid projects that you can point employers to. Which brings me to my next topic. At the core of this video is the common question I get asked over and over again, when am I ready for my first software engineering job? Is it gonna take four months? Eight months? Nine months? Hear me out. 10 months? I wish I had a hard set date month for y'all, but it's not that cut and dry. Coding boot camps and computer science, they have this nice warm and fuzzy end date to let them know that, mm, I did it. I now should be able to go out into the world and represent my university, represent my coding boot camp, and create some dope software for the world. But if you're self-taught like your boy, that finish line may not be as clear to find as those other paths. So yes, of course, it depends, but I hate giving the it depends answer because that doesn't really help anybody. Typically, if you can create, read, update, and destroy using a programming language without having to have your hand held by an online tutorial and you understand what you're doing, typically you're in a pretty good position to start applying for a bunch of different jobs. It's a numbers game. Doesn't mean you can't use the internet. You should also be able to use your resources, your Google, your Stack Overflow as a tool in your tool belt, but 
not like all of your tools, just a couple of them. And if you can do that, you're in a pretty good place in your development learning. Beware of yourself, story time. When I first decided to switch careers and start my journey into becoming a software engineer, I made a plan, a master plan. Looking back on it, a terrible plan, but I made it nonetheless. And it was to study computer science, study coding, programming for two years. And after my two year mark at the 25 month mark exactly, I would apply for a bunch of jobs and hopefully I'd be ready at that point. Looking back at it now, that plan was trash, garbage, straight, straight boo-boo, but it was comforting. That timeline of 25 months was just uh, the perfect amount of time to be able to know 100% of the materials required of me to become a software engineer. I mean, I didn't know any better when I was looking at these job postings. I thought I had to know every single thing in the job posting to even be looked at for these type of jobs. Not really the case. But for me personally, after studying software engineering programming for three to four months straight, 12 hours a day, a position in my own office opened up an internal transfer. I didn't know all the requirements in the job posting. It said I needed to know SQL, Python, VBA, JavaScript, and I said I know I know one of those words and I thought I would give it a try. So I applied and that application was the probably the best thing, the best decision I have ever made in my entire life and me being accepted into that position even though I didn't know 100% of the job requirements, changed my life. I wasn't exactly what they were looking for. I wasn't 100% match for the job description that they put out. Some of my senior engineers watching this can attest to that. But I had the aptitude to want to learn more, the aptitude to learn more, and I became a functioning member of that team. Side note, thank you Greg and Johnny for taking a chance on me. So I've been developing some amazing software on that team for the last two and a half years and it's my time to move on and find my next position. Within the next six months here, I plan to interview for some FANG developer advocate jobs. Do I feel ready on the inside to apply for these larger than life companies? No, but if I learned anything from my previous version of myself, it's that trying can only be beneficial to you. I'm either gonna learn a lot in these interviews or I'm gonna get the job and my life is going to be incredibly different and incredibly exciting the way I want it to be. Either way, there's no harm in going for something that seems out of reach, for the most part. Whew. I am very excited though to practice what I preach, document everything, be transparent, and take you all on the journey with me as I try to be a successful developer in this world. This is your sign to put yourself out there and apply for that job you're not 100% perfect for, but you know you'll be great at. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. See ya!